Hey guys and welcome back to another Monster High review, it's Mansell here and today we're going to be checking out the Ballerina Ghouls and we have Draculaura, Cleo Denial and Monica Decay. And so far there are three in the series to collect and each of these ghouls retail for around $12.99 each and you can pick them up from all good toy stockers and they've each been recommended for ages 6 and up. And the coffin shaped packaging is fairly basic and we have the new look Monster High logo going down on the right hand side with a little scully there in the middle. We have artwork there of the ghouls on the bottom right hand side of each of the packages with the ballerina logo by their names. And around on the back we just have some more artwork of each of the ghouls and Dracula of course being daughter of the vampire, Cleo Denial daughter of the mummies and Monica Decay is daughter of the zombies. So let's get our dance shoes on, open them up and check them out. And I've just gone ahead and taken all three ghouls out of the packet and before we go ahead and check them out up close I just want to let you know that they don't come with doll stands. And before we get started I'll just show you them doing their pirouettes in a 360 view. And here they are up close and each of the ghouls have their own individual style and that includes their hairstyles. And Draculaura has bangs there at the front done in her traditional black and pink streaks. And her hair has been tied up in a high ponytail there on the side. And it has a lot of pink in it there at the back. And it also has a bit of a curl to it as well. And on top of her head she's wearing this really pretty pink tiara which has a heart shape there in the centre. And it also has bat wings on it. And here's an up close look at her features and she has the new face mould. She has her big pink eyes, pink lipstick and her little heart there on her left cheek. And this is her ballerina outfit which is quite cute and it has a lot of detail on it. Which includes this decorative piece which she's wearing around her neck. It has a black ruffle and a little heart there in the centre. And the piece that goes around her neck is covered in cobwebs. And the top half of her outfit is done in pink and blue stripes. It also has bat designs on it and clear straps that go over her shoulder. And to accessorise she's wearing a little pink belt which has bat wings and a little heart there in the centre. And this is her tutu which is done in pink and it has black cobweb designs on it. And instead of having spiders on the cobwebs it has blue bows. And the bottom of the tutu is cut out like bat wings. Underneath it's laid with a black and pink tool. And these are her super cute ballerina shoes done in pink and they have these ribbons tied up at the front. They have a platform design to make her look like she's tiptoeing. And they have these bat wings on the sides. She's also wearing some green socks which are made from plastic and these are just removable and simply clip off. And on each of her wrists she's wearing these ruffles and they have a cobweb design on them and also bows on the ends as well. She also comes with an accessory which is this beautiful bunch of flowers. And there was a look at Draculaura and she also loves to practice her routines before class at Monster High. And now let's move on to the beautiful Cleo Denial and again we'll start from the top and we'll work our way down. And just like Draculaura she has her bangs there at the front and they're done in a multitude of colours including black, turquoise and purple. And her hair is tied up there in a bun in a donut style. And these are the same colour as her bangs. And Cleo's tiara is done in gold and is dripping in jewels. And it has these wings on the side. And here's an up close look at her features and she has the new face mould. She's also wearing some makeup which includes a blue and metallic gold eyeshadow and a red lipstick. And her outfit is full on fabulous. And over the top of her dress she's wearing this harness which again is done in gold and matches her tiara. And it's also easily removable. Under that we have her beautiful dance outfit. And it features one strap which goes over her left shoulder. The dress is done in a beautiful blue. And it has characters doing ribbons on it. The bottom half of her dress is done in all these strips. And under that it has a pink and black tool. And here's a look at that from the back as well.
And these are her stunning ballet shoes done in a metallic gold. And they have ribbons crisscrossed all the way up to her knees. And again she has the platform heel to make it look like she is tiptoeing. And on each of her arms she has these decorative bandages done in blue. And Cleo loves to do the splits surrounded by all her gold and jewels. And in science class when the teacher's not looking she loves to twirl her ribbon. And again it's done in gold and looks super fabulous just like the rest of her outfit. And up next we have Monica Decay and her hair is all one length and it's done in purple and it has a green streak on each side. And again it's tied up just like the other two but it's curled under. And check out Monica's beautiful tiara, I think it's the most impressive out of the three. It has a cluster of roses at the bottom and this rib cage there in the centre. And I think it's totally glossome. And it even has skeleton hands on each side. And moving down to her features, she has grey skin because she is daughter of the zombies. She's also wearing a little bit of makeup which includes a pink eyeshadow and this really beautiful purple lipstick. And her outfit is fierce and I just love the colouring as well as the style. She's also wearing this interesting studded belt which also goes up and around her neck. Again that's also removable, revealing her beautiful dance outfit which has green overlock stitching there around the neckline. And I just love the shades of purple on the dress. It also has yellow toxic signs and star designs made from finger bones. And her dress is also layered down in green and black tulle. And check out these shoes guys, they have an open ended toe and they're all covered in studs. And they're quite similar in design to Cleo's how the straps go up her legs. And these are her wristbands and these are done in purple. And her accessory is this masquerade mask. And this is what it looks like on up close and I just love those feathers there in the centre. And the frames of the masquerade mask have studs on it just like her shoes. And Monica loves to practice her dance routines in front of Gaulia and slow mo. And that was a look at the Monster High ballerina ghouls, including Draculaura, Cleo Denial, and Monica DK. And even though they're not quite as good as the original ghouls, I still really like their outfits and all the attention to detail. And it is also great that they have articulation. So each ghoul can move their head, their wrists move, their elbows, arms, and their legs, as well as their knees. And they're available from all good toy stockers. Also looking forward to reading your comments below and let me know what you think of them. Also let me know if you're getting these for your collection or if you already have them. And that is it for me guys. Love you, stay awesome, and I'll catch you tomorrow.